One, two, three, four. Hold on a second. What, what are you doing? Sitting around watching me? Have you heard that the new Chase Freedom Flex is coming? Yes, you have 12 days. 12 days for this new credit card that's coming out to be in shape. So come on. It's the Chase Freedom Flex. Get up, get up. Come on, join me. Give me one, two, three, four. That's right. Let's go. Let's get straight into it. Hi, everyone. And yes, Chase is offering a new credit card. It's called the Chase Freedom Flex. You're going to flex with me. You know, I hope something shows up there on camera because that would be an epic fail if I'm like flexing and there's nothing there. No, so flexing. <laughs> okay, that's the last time I'm going to flex in this video. However, do understand that there is a new credit card on the horizon. It's coming from Chase and it is the Chase Freedom Flex card. So in this video, we're going to go over some information for you all. And without further ado, let's go to the introduction from Chase. All right, if as soon as I pull up the page, there's one statement I want to read. Okay, here we go. Here's the introductory statement, and I kind of really like this. Flex and Unlimited are the next evolution of the Chase Freedom Credit Card Suite and challenge the status quo for what consumers expect from a no-fee cashback card, said BJ Mahoney, General Manager of Chase Freedom. Earning cash back on dining, including takeout and delivery, drugstores, and travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards provides immense value for customers in both the immediate and long term. Does it sound like I'm doing a good job selling this card because I'm totally not getting anything from it? <laughs> but anyway, let's move on. So it's the new Freedom Flex, which means that this card is actually going to be replacing the Chase Freedom card. So Freedom Flex, Flex with me. Okay, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm done, I'm done. What do you all think about the new name, Freedom Flex? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm very curious to find out what you all think about calling your credit card your Flex card. Let's just say, you know, a lot of people won't say Freedom Flex. They'll just say, I have my Chase Flex card, I think. All right, let's go over information overload for all the categories that will be included in this credit card. So, card members will earn cash back on 5% on bonus quarterly categories. And I give you one guess as to what the cap will be on that 5% cash back during those quarters. One guess, you guessed it probably is $1,500. So cash 5% cash back on up to $1,500 in combined purchases on bonus categories, such as grocery stores, select streaming services, and many others. I'm not sure what those many others are, but when all the details are released, I will come back and let you know exactly what you are getting in these categories. With that, let's move on. 5% on travel purchased from Chase Ultimate Rewards, including vacation and rental cars or car rentals. Apparently, I can't read in order. 3% on dining purchases, including takeout or eligible delivery services. So could that be Uber? Uber Eats, that's what they call it. Yes, I've clearly never used Uber Eats. And I don't think Lyft offers the same service. Eh, Grubhub, is that one? You know what? I don't know. Let's stop right there. I'm going to stop guessing. I cook most of my own food, and I live in an area where I can walk and pick up my food when I want to eat out, which is awesome, by the way. 3% on drugstore purchases on daily essentials like medicine, toiletries, diapers, and other items. And I wonder if they're going to like have some type of restriction on purchasing gift cards from those drugstores because some people like to do stuff like that. We'll see. It depends. We'll see. Can you imagine using your credit card to get 3% back? And, but would it be worth it? Because a lot of those, it depends on the gift card you get. If you get like a Visa or other gift card like such, that's just cash. There's usually like a fee for that. And it's like, $3.95 or $4.95, something like that. I haven't purchased one in a while. Simply because I don't want to pay extra money just to put my money on a card so it can be a fancy way of giving away money. I give cash now if I'm not going to give a gift. And 1% unlimited cash back on all other purchases. Here are some other perks with the Freedom Flex 
card that you receive. And first of all, let's just say this. It is a MasterCard. This one is not a Visa card. So if you do not have another card other than a Visa card with you right now, you can get a MasterCard with the Chase Freedom Flex, which is pretty cool because it'll be accepted in places that do not take Visa probably. <laughs> so here are the other benefits. Cell phone insurance, up to $800 per claim and $1,000 per year. So all of you with your very expensive phones, like I have my iPhone that was a ridiculous amount of money, in my opinion. Phones are too expensive. We will get a claim up to $800 on that if we choose to have our phone insurance through our credit card or claim through that. Anyway, in cell phone protection against theft or damage for phones listed on card members' monthly bill. So that's what they said. I don't know if there'll be any more information on that. Lift $10 in credit for every five rides taken in a calendar month, automatically applied to the next ride and capped at once per month. Box, I have no idea what is box. Maybe I should search what is box, no idea. If you do know, let me know down in the comments below and I can read what you all say, but you will get 5% cashback rewards on box purchases for use on future purchases. No idea what that is. Shop Runner, free membership to receive two day shipping and free return shipping at over 100 online retailers. And Fandango. And I find this one a little bit interesting because are movie cinemas open right now? Are they? Are they? Hmm. Fandango. Double VIP plus points for movie tickets purchased via the Fandango app or Fandango.com, which can be used towards purchasing movie tickets on Fandango or towards streaming movies and TV shows on Fandango now. Well, I guess if you going to, you can use it for streaming movies, movie tickets, I don't know. Are, are cinemas open again? And if they are, how many people are actually going? Anyway. With that said, let's go into when is this card coming out? And I would love to give you the exact date when this is coming out. However, Chase has made a mistake <laughs> and they happen to stumble across it. So on their media release, their media page, they are stating that these credit cards will be available with the new cashback offering starting September 15th. And that sounds okay, so why is there an issue? Well, let's go over to their credit card page where it says these will be starting September 14th. And then let's scroll all the way down into the frequently asked questions because I wanted to know since I am a Chase Freedom Unlimited customer if these changes would apply to me. And I'll go over the changes. They're very similar for Chase Freedom Unlimited and Freedom Flex. I wonder if these changes will be applied to existing customers as soon as I find it. I totally scrolled up from it, but they said that these changes will be automatically applied to existing unlimited customers on September 13th. So I get three dates there. Yep. I have three dates there as to when all these changes will happen and will be in effect. It's either going to be beginning September 13th. It said beginning. This is what it says. How do I get the new Chase Freedom Unlimited cashback rewards? Beginning September 13, 2020, all new Freedom Unlimited card members will get the new cashback rewards. Existing card members will not need to apply or do anything to receive the new Freedom Unlimited cashback rewards benefits. The new earned benefits are automatically added to existing Freedom Unlimited customers on September 13th. So it looks like September 13th for the Chase Freedom Unlimited benefits to start rolling in. Chase Freedom Flex, I'm not sure. It looks like September 14th or September 15th. You have three dates. There you go. And I'm happy to bring them all to you all. Now, let's go over briefly for Chase Freedom Unlimited things that maybe are a little bit different. So Chase Freedom Unlimited gets the 5% travel um, cash back, 3% on dining, 3% on drugstores. It does not get the 5% rotating calendar because you do get the 1.5% on all other purchases, which means that it does not get the 1% cash back on all other purchases like the Freedom Flex. Now, Additional card benefits, the same apply. Let's just make sure with the exception of the, this is for the Freedom Unlimited, with the exception of the cell phone protection for that $800 per clean, 1000 per year, that's the Freedom Flex thing. This is not going to apply for the Chase Freedom Unlimited. So 
Some other benefits that I didn't mention earlier was the travel and emergency assistance services. So basically, if you run into a problem away from home, call a benefit administrator for legal and medical referrals or other travel and emergency assistance. And they have a disclaimer here that you will be responsible for the cost of any goods or services obtained. They're not covering that. Trip cancellation interruption insurance. Both cards do have that. It's $1,500 per person and $6,000 per trip. You can read that information. I'm going to read everything. It does have the auto rental collision damage waiver. And by the way, there's a little disclaimer because I'm like, hmm, I get insurance to my credit cards. Well, it is secondary to your car insurance if you are in the United States. So secondary to your personal insurance. So be careful and read the frying print. Fraud monitoring, which is, yeah, whatever. Free credit score, which I do have access through credit. They use Credit Journey, which is your Vantage score, which says that it is powered by Experian. And however, the score that's shown on my Credit Journey is always different from the score that's shown in my Experian account. So it's powered by Experian and it's a Vantage score, whatever. Anyway, you get access to free credit score. It's just a little bit different. It's a few points off. Well, I think it's about right now seven points off from what I do have in my Experian account, which is weird. But anyway, you do have an idea of where you will be credit wise through Chase. Purchase protection covers your new purchases for 120 days against damage or theft up to $500 per claim and $50,000 per account. Extended warranty protection extends the time period of the U.S. manufacturer's warranty by an additional year on eligible warranties of three years or less. Don't know what's eligible. There's a little symbol there to read down below. Zero liability protection. This is amazing. You do need that. Both cards have it, of course. And this is awesome because I have experienced credit card for the credit card fraud before. Four. And this was with another credit card discovered. They were absolutely amazing with that and getting everything resolved. They basically asked me, I think maybe two questions. Basically, okay, do you know who could have possibly used your card? I think that was one question. Maybe they didn't even ask that question. But the question they did ask is, is this a transaction that you conducted? And the answer is clearly no. It was hassle-free and it got it locked and taken care of and a whole brand new card in the mail to me within one week. That was awesome. Happened during the time I was moving, so it wasn't that awesome. While I was in the middle of purchasing furniture, darn those people who stole my credit card numbers. But that is a quick overview for you all. And I know I'm speaking a little bit fast in this video simply because I wanted to go over the information pretty quickly and keep your attention. I think speaking fast helps a little bit. But let me know down in the comments below if you do like this type of format. Totally forgot my word for a second. With that, here is the conclusion. Let me know what do you think about this new card? Let me know what you think about the name, the Chase Freedom Flex. Let me know if you are excited about this credit card. If you are going to go over this credit card, choose this credit card over any other credit card that you may have been considering or you feel like, meh, whatever, doesn't affect you. Let me know down in the comment section below. And I am so happy to be doing a video on credit cards and a new credit card. It's been a while and it brings a little bit of a different flavor to this channel. With that said, if you do like these videos, Videos, do consider hitting the subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell. And of course, again, I'm going to keep asking, comment down below. Thank you all. And I will see you in the next video.